Hi y'all. Welcome to my channel. Or welcome back to my channel. This is Thris. I'm happy to have you. Um, I am batch recording. I still have other videos from my other batch recordings that will still come up in helter-skelter order. Nothing is going to be in any particular order. Things might seem out of timeline. Um, so know that. I still have some stuff from December and January that I forgot to upload. I'll upload those at some point. Um, anyway, okay, I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, I was down for quite a few days and I got some happy mail. Oh my god, I got some happy mail. And then I got some orders in and I just haven't touched any of it because I just was really out of sorts. And um, so before I slide down into my next slump of a few days, I'm going to get all this recorded. So <clears throat> for this video, I don't know if this is first, second, or third, but for this one, we're doing my Mary Maxim and Ice Yarns round two. Um, so we're going to start with Ice Yarns because I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited about all of it. Um... Okay, so I ooh, I just saw one of the things and the color I think is going to be perfect. I'm so okay. Yes, yeah, so with this channel you get sound effects. Okay. And I forgot something. Hold on. Okay. I had to unbury myself. Alright, so in my last ice yarns, I got some of this. And it is called something. It's called Star Glitz. And I got it in this... Um, like beetroot color and it was going along with some of that uh, yarn be authentic hand dyed tonal in beetroot actually I don't think it was called tonals it was a lightweight number one or a fingering number one because tonals is a DK weight I think anyway I digress um I have it okay I also got this and this is the magic blitz well, I want to do this in a project with gray, because you know me, rainbow and gray. And I could not think of a DK weight acrylic with sparkle. I could think of tons of worsted and sport, but I could not think of acrylic, and I remembered this. So I ordered the gray to see if maybe this would work. Now, you can feel it's not unpleasant. It's not the worst I've felt. Um, you, in some places, you can feel the Selena in the Star Glitz, but in other places you can't feel it. So it's just, I don't know. And I, so I thought maybe this would go, and I think it's going to. I think that's gonna work. And they're pretty similar in their details, I do believe. So this one is, I'll give you the number for this in just a second. 94% um, acrylic and 6% metallic. And this is 95% acrylic and 5% Lorax. They're both three weight. And the Star Glitz is 320 meters, and the Magic Glitz is 360 meters. So they're very, very close. Very close. I think that they're going to work just fine together. So I'm very excited about that. So if you need a DK acrylic with sparkle, this is your bet. Um, so I'm very excited. I have this one in this and I have it in cake glitz where it looks exactly like this um, but I'm going to be using the cake one with this because the striping I assume is going to be longer um, 
and this is going to be probably a standalone. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, the numbers for this is 66064. So that will bring you up to this specific colorway. Um, I definitely recommend that Stellina is not... I don't think it would be unpleasant against your skin. You can feel it, but I think it would be fine. Okay, so the next thing I got, I was so excited. And I don't know that I've ever seen this. Crystal may have reviewed this at some point. I don't remember. But I was just looking around and I saw Angora. And I'm like, I've never had Angora. I would like to know what Angora feels like. And oh, it is so soft. It's not the softest yarn I've ever felt, surprisingly. But it is soft. And I bet you anything when it washes, it gets, it blooms and probably feels really, really soft. So, this is 68761, 68761, and this is called Angora Cashmere, and it is 20% Cashmere, 40% Angora, and 40% Polyamide. It's a 50 gram ball, 200 meters, so 220 yards. Um, so it's a fine number two. By that yardage, it should technically be a fingering weight one, but it definitely is a two. And I have a feeling this will bloom. So what my original plan was, first of all, I just wanted it. I wanted to touch it. It seemed it cashmere and angora and polyamide I felt like it had to be really soft and it is it is so soft it's lovely and I think it will be nicer after it washes um <coughs> where did it go so what my thought was um Okay, I found it. I was sitting on it. So I did not color match at all. Um, so my original plan is not going to work. I think they do have a baby pink on there. I don't know why I thought this was like a purpley orchid, but this really is pink. This is Vitalana Silhouette in the color Misty Dawn. And this is a lace weight, or fingering weight, 50% uh, superwash merino wool, 50% tweed, uh, tweed, oh my gosh, tensile. Very pretty, soft, shiny, and I was going to run these together. I mean, I guess I technically still could, um, but this is definitely pink and this is definitely purpley, like a purple gray. Um... So I don't know. I might just do this by itself. I might see if they have a pink to put these together. I also thought about running this with like some silver Stellina or something. I hadn't fully decided. I didn't think I wanted to do it by itself, but I could. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Um, so I didn't do a good job at color matching, but that's okay. They might still look cute together. I don't know. I need y'all's help. You guys tell me what to do. I might just do this by itself. Honestly, it's so... It is really nice. Um, I will go look and see if they have a baby pink. And I don't wear pastel colors, like, ever. The most pastel I get is neon. I love me some neon and fluorescent. Um, but sometimes... Sometimes I do like get in a like a fluffy sweater, a nice fluffy sweater, um, kind of mood where if it's pastel, then I'll wear it and that's okay. 
and I would definitely wear this or this. So, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think on that. Um, so I got so far two of those. The Angora comes in six packs. So far I have two of those. I have two of the gray. I don't know if I bought more. I did buy more. I have three gray and three of the Angora, and then I have two of what I'm about to show you. I see. Is there any underneath? No, there's not. Okay. I saw this and fell in love with the colors, and I'm so glad I got it because it's gorgeous. Okay, this is 77411. I think this is so pretty. <laughs> oh, it's soft too. Yeah. It's not like Angora type soft, but it's like um, nice acrylic soft. So this one is called a name. Uh, this is called Ambiance. And this is stuff. What are you? There you are. Um, okay, premium acrylic. That makes sense. So this is 100% premium acrylic, 100 gram, 200 meter, or 220 yards. So this is a worsted weight. Um, yeah. And yeah. Um, isn't that pretty? So it is charcoal gray to medium grays, and then um, like a beetroot, plum, and dark pink to medium pink, and then there's some light gray and some white in there. Gorgeous. Love. Definitely making... I'm on a painted Canyon cardigan kick right now, so it's probably what this is going to be. I can almost guarantee you that's what that's going to be. <laughs> um, and what would my second color choice be? My solid color choice. Either black. Probably black. Yeah, probably black I would put as my solid color choice with that. Absolutely love it. So, so pretty. So you guys, tell me what you think about the Angora, what I should do if I should run these together, even though they're very different colors, um, or if I should do the Angora by itself, and what do you think about if they have a pale pink, which I really think they did, if I should get the pale pink, and if I did, what should I run them together? the um man that would be quite a mix it's going to be superwash merino angora cashmere polyamide and tinsel but how pretty oh my gosh you scared me okay i'll be right there buddy <laughs> he enjoys doing that okay I will be right back. Okay, my son loves to absolutely startle the crap out of me. Look at this cup. I don't know if you can get some light in here. Mm. Okay, I don't know. Hopefully, you can see it. So, I was at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, whatever yesterday and uh, <laughs> saw these and I love it because it's multi textural and that is very pleasing to me um, so this is like metallic feeling and then there's stone in the middle and then ceramic at the top love it there I got a purple one and a pink one okay where are we at um, we are at, oh, Mary Maxim. My Mary Maxim came. <laughs> I'm assuming this is March's.
<coughs> oh, there's the thing. Okay. So, let's see. This is what the kit looks like. It's a um, like baby blue, I guess. Uh, no, that's not a good descriptor for that. <coughs> I don't know. It's a blue and gray. <coughs> And let's see, this is a reversible crossbody bag. So this is the pattern. Um, okay, let's learn about the yarn. So the yarn is Nova. Um, mercerized. It's saying it all in other languages, but it's saying mercerized cotton. Um, okay, I'm going to do the best I can. I don't see any English on here at all. So it's mercerized cotton. Um, this is a... I don't know. It's a mercenary's cotton. Uh, knitting needles are two and a half to three and a half. It's got the Oko text. I there's nothing I can tell you. I don't see any meterage or yardage or anything like that anywhere on here. Um, it is 100% mercerized cotton. I could tell you pretty positive about that. Um, it is a one weight. I doubt the blue one will say any different. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, the color for the blue is 4865 and the color for the gray is 3029. That's all I can tell you. I can't give you any more information on that. There's nothing in English on there. So, um, okay. Let's see. Okay, the instructions are in English. Okay, Nova Cotton. 1.75 ounces, 132 yards. I uh, gray, blue. Yeah. Okay. So, and the instructions are in English. Cool, cool. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. It was like a weird hiccup. Um. Okay. Yeah. So that is. Um, all right, so that is my Mary Maxim for March. <clears throat> so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I really, really want your opinion on the ice yarn question. Very much want your opinion on it because I'm I don't know what to do. I think I will definitely check and see if there is a light pink. I don't know. I'm going to wait till I hear back from you guys. You guys tell me what you think. But that is that. I'm going to go film two more videos. Um, so I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Staying safe. And not making permanent decisions off temporary feelings. So that's my sign off. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.